We got, should I come out to my wife? Off the bat, yes. That's your wife. Come on now. You're supposed to spend eternity with that person. So, yes, you should. But, you know, we got 12 minutes to watch, so let's get into it. I love my wife, but I'm gay. Mm. Should I come out now? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Me personally, yes. We brought together a group of strangers to help an anonymous person make one of their toughest decisions. My wife is the most important person in my life, and I would never want to do anything to hurt her. But I'm also gay, so I'm not sure how to approach it or even... Right, as many times as I've seen like these things or talking about um, I'm gay and that uh, I'm married bro I think like you're sad that she's gonna be you're debating if she's gonna be mad or not nine times out of ten they're all, not even ten times out of ten they're mad because they spent all this time with somebody now they're divorcing them because you're not, you know, attracted to them anymore. After courting them for all, however long, you know, to get them to get married. How to come out? After hearing the group's advice, which choice will this person make? This is the dilemma. This is dilemma. Yes, yes. <laughs> all these people have common sense. They have some sort of sense. How long into the relationship did you realize you were gay? I knew before I uh, got married. That's where you fucked up. <laughs> That's where you fucked up. Why would you get married, bro? How did you meet your partner? We grew up in the same community together. We started off as friends and best friends. And mm. It grew from there. Okay. Is your partner supportive of everything you do? In our viewpoints, on religion, yes. In terms of supporting the LGBT community, no. Mm. So religion is a big cornerstone of your guys' relationship? We both grew up in the same religious community, so we both grew up with the same values and the same social guidelines. Off the back, she's not gonna fuck with it, bro. Do you think your wife knows you're gay? No, she doesn't. Well, she's not gonna fuck with it, bro. Bro, man. Uh, I have a few family members in the LGBTQ plus community. I know all their experiences coming out have been positive, um, at least in the long run. I really thought to myself about him coming here, wanting to, you know, share his truth and you know speak to us about it. I knew that uh, it's about time. It's, it's starting to boil over, and he needs to come out. What was your reasoning for marrying a woman, even though you knew you were gay? I thought that if I got married, that. Uh, it would change me. Mm. I could become straight. What are your intentions That's, uh, in life? And how do you want to feel about your life? I want to be truthful, but I also don't want to hurt the people surrounding me. I'm a very nice person. I don't lie. Well, the fact yeah, that let her know, bro. Basically, living a lie right now gives me a lot of anxiety and depression. But I know if I came out suddenly, it would. Her. The thing is, I'm bisexual, and I would have never said anything if I ended up falling in love with a man and everything worked out. And you know, I fell in love with a woman, and I didn't want to hide anymore. Mm -hmm. Being your authentic self is my principle. So, is there an expected fallout that extends beyond just the relationship of you and your wife? Like, is it more than just your guys' relationship that's at stake? My job like, do you guys have kids? Church, so I could potentially lose my job. Oh, yeah. Most likely lose my family, uh, my friends, my wife. I would lose everything, basically. I would Damn. have nothing and no support. Are we the uh, only people who know uh, about this? I've never told anyone. This nigga is Just in a predicament. this information now, you guys can switch to the other side if you want. Nah, bro. You still gotta tell her, bro. I gotta tell her. Live your truth, dog. Live your truth. He was explaining what's at stake 
if he comes out immediately. Because of that, the more I thought about that, the more I was like, you know what, he's gonna be losing literally everything because of this. So I feel like he needs to have some sort of plan in motion first. The reason I said no, I'm, I'm bisexual. I, same as you, it took me a cool minute to kind of come to terms with that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I look more at like, am I safe? If you do, gone. You could lose a bro, lot of things. Bro, I'm sorry, bro. What, what is the like, fit? What What is the fit? Like, what is going on here? This This is confusing. I, I She might think she's drippy, but that is not drip. Or, I mean, it's... Like what? If you do, you're gone. You could lose a lot of things that you've built up on this foundation. Have you at all considered reaching out to therapy or some sort of counseling to help you through this process? In the community I live in, it's a little bit hard to find counseling. I live in a more rural area, so the majority of counselors are the... Can you tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Guy? And has there been moments where you've personally experienced him guide you? Yeah, I would say, you know, faith has been a deciding factor in all things that I do in my life. And that I don't you know, follow God blindly. Like I've felt him work in my life before. Mm. So for me, it's... Me personally, really I'm not the religious type. I know no one asked, but I'm still going to state my mother loving opinion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't got no relationship with my man G uh, God and Jesus you feel me uh, you know it's complicated you know if, if you know yeah I, have, I don't want to go deep into it that's a whole nother conversation relationship I have. you know God goes for everything else faith is just a huge factor from, from Jesus my truth Christ. to me that's what I resonated the most so I wanted to be that representation of like hey if you just go in with blind faith it could still work out. If you show who you really are to somebody, to anybody, they're going to show you who they are, like 100% of the time. And if you're surrounding yourself with people who are kind of not in support of the person that you really are, then that's not a healthy situation to me. And I think you should 100% come out. Like, mm. I'm bisexual. It took me a cool minute. One of my, I'm not going to name names, I'll say a family member. So my parents. It gave me a lot of anxiety. Uh, snitch like, on you. I'm going to get kicked out. I'm going to stay here. Are they upset with me? It was very much like, okay, whatever. I don't want to talk to you right now. And it's like, I know coming out, like everyone's like, do it, do it. It's great. You'll feel better. But for me coming out, was it made me feel worse. So I'm like, I live my truth, but it didn't make me feel the way I wanted to feel. Mm -hmm. I believe that everybody should live their truth. You're not emotionally responsible for anybody. You don't owe anybody your life. You be you and they'll figure out how to be them. I think it's different, like you're saying, you're not responsible for other people's feelings, but it is, I know the guilt that I would feel as like a husband to be hiding something from my wife is like horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, let's also not forget that they are married. They have vows. Yeah. And yeah. part of There's those vows of is to, to tell the truth. You know what yeah. I mean? Because Dude, you're thin. taking away another person's ability life to live death. in reality. And that's wrong. I do want to point out that I'm not necessarily saying that he should wait like years to come out. I'm just saying oh, maybe no, take just like a couple months. Like I would say go to counseling, go to therapy, figure out who you are um, and who you are even without the church and without your wife and without all of that stuff. Once you figure all that out, then you can start going through that process of how am I going to come out. Yeah, but I think he should, I think the focus should be more like him just finding himself. You know, like all that planning, you know, like where's he going to go and all that stuff. Yeah, that those are tough questions, but it doesn't have to be answered right now because, you know, it takes baby steps. Coming out is not ripping off a band-aid. It comes with so much anxiety. It comes with so much... Um, fallbacks depending on who you are where your community is aligned you know what i mean i don't know what you mean i don't know what, what you mean band-aids hurt you know what i mean it's not a painless process just because it's quick and people really need to understand that bro the ones that say no are Was ops anything in the discussion that caught your all, all the people that say no are ops i think when they were mentioning we can come out like right now, that person will show their true colors to me. That, that resonated with me because that is true. The other issue that was brought up was the point of counseling and kind of preparing myself. I feel like that could be 
beneficial. Honey, I think there was too much discussion of what's step 10, what's step yeah. 7. What do we do like three stages from now? Yeah, I think yeah. that's what he's going to get. I think what he needs from us is comfort. Like ultimately, at the end of the day, people are going to be people, and you can't predict how someone's going to react. Right. Also, I've met people who've been in a dangerous situation because they came out. So the biggest concern My is community. safety. So one thing we talked about was not necessarily needing a plan because your dilemma isn't coming out to the world right now, but it's coming out to your wife, like your partner. And just as a married man of faith, uh, you said your wife grew up in the church with you and you grew up in the church, and so your wife possesses those fruits of the spirit that are like patience and kindness. And I think those attributes, like you said, it sounds like are in her. And so she would be loving and kind and patient with you. One of the things I want to just encourage you on is that you've been in a vulnerable position before where you had to put your whole trust in God and he came through. So I just encourage you to sometimes be okay with taking just the first step forward and everything else you could figure out along the way. So I, I first want to be clear that yes you should come out but you should definitely wait and give it a little bit more time. Because we're worried about your safety, number one. The other thing too is that you need resources and you need time to get those resources. Like I said, like these divorce processes and everything, they don't take a week. And then it's all about your community, right? Personally, me and my family is I don't even know what to say, bro. So I very much understand where you're coming like, from <laughs> about investing so much time in your community and the sense of loss that comes with it but you have but to understand if that they just don't be drop you relationship with god will be fine but if you come out very tough decision are they really your community more than that. are they really your people jacob how are you feeling right now i'm feeling like i got a lot of um helpful words that have helped me kind of put together an idea of what i wanted to going forward have you made a decision in your mind right now but yeah, I think I have. Yeah. You gotta leave, bro. You gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah, so upon getting home, I told my wife that I wanted to do counseling. I was meeting with a wonderful counselor and she has just been able to give us a lot of tools to work with. Um, we meet one-on-one, -on -one, so I get a chance to be very open with her about how I feel. Um, so I think within the next few months, definitely, uh, I'll be ready to fully come out and just okay. prepare myself and my wife for that. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's I you, feel bro. I like the weight's been lifted a bit. You know, I still have a journey to go through. And it's gonna Anyways, like and subscribe. It's free. Road to 20 subs.